All right. Uh, this is part of a series, Intro to Backpacking. Um, this video is going to be speaking specifically on the backpack itself. Uh, there are a couple different types of backpacks. Uh, we'll go over the types and then we'll go over some other um, features and what to look for in a backpack. Uh, the traditional type of backpack is an external frame where you actually have the aluminum tubing that constitutes the frame and then the bag compartment itself was attached to it um, as well as the straps themselves were lashed to it. Um, this has pretty much been replaced. They, they, they do still exist and are made but are, are not anywhere near as popular as they used to be. Now the internal frame backpack is pretty much the backpack that's primarily uh, used which is basically uh, the frame, the structure itself is internal. It consists of usually two aluminum stays that run down the side of the backpack um, or on the inside of the backpack that support the bag uh, itself. And the bag and the, and the straps are usually united. So anyways, internal frames are specifically what we'll be concentrating on. And, and you, if you look for a pack, that's probably what you're going to want to look for. The next thing is kind of looking at the volume of the bag. How much can the bag contain? It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, hydration packs, camelbacks, things like that are usually 10 liters, right around there. Then you have day packs, which could be anything from, you know, you're just throwing some water and a little bit of food in a pack, and you're going to spend the day kind of hiking around, but you'll be back before night. Or college backpacks are usually a little bigger, the size of day packs. Those are between 15 and 35 liters, somewhere around there. Then from there, you start getting into the weekend packs, which are going to be at that 35, 40. They're going to go into the 50s, 50 liters. Uh, from there, you're going to have your week-long pack, uh, which is what I have, and that's anywhere from uh, 50 to maybe 65 liters. But once you get around 60 or above, that can even be considered expedition pack, which would be for like alpine mountaineering. We're going to have a lot more equipment. You're going to need a lot more weight uh, to carry. Uh, I don't have any experience with that. What I'm looking at primarily is that weekend to week pack. Uh, mine is a week pack. It's a 56 liter. I'll show you here. This is a, a Jan Sport Purist. It is a discontinued model, actually. But... I'll just look at a couple major major features of the pack. Uh, down here, I have this here. Down here, this is the sleeping bag compartment. Okay, uh, just for what it sounds like, uh, I keep my sleeping bag here as long as as as, as well as my raincoat. I have my mess kit right here, and behind it, I have my pack cover. So if it rains, I put the pack cover on and keep it down here. Okay. Uh, some sleeping bag compartments have an open ceiling, so you can get to the main compartment or it's detachable. This one doesn't. This is permanent in here, but that's one of the features that you can look at if that's important to you. Okay, the other option uh, that you see quite a few times are the pockets on the side that stretch. Okay, so over here, I keep my fuel canister, my denatured alcohol for my stove, and the shoes that I wear when I get to camp so I don't have to wear my boots. On the other side, I keep my Nalgene bottle. All right. Then you have the main compartment. This is a top. This is a top loader bag. Okay, so, which means you open up right here. You get in through the top. Okay. Uh, as opposed to some of them have zippers right down the middle, uh, front loaders, or they have zippers on the side, side loaders, or they have a, a combination of those. All right. So this doesn't have any zippers on the side or anything. That does just increase the weight, but it does give you options to how you can get in. Uh, so it's up to you. You 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 can you can see what works best for you if you go to an outfitter, try them on, see what features you like about it. Uh, I like the sleeping bag compartment. I like having a separate compartment. Uh, up here, I have a detachable uh, head pack. I don't ever use it for detachable. Basically, you you take it off and you can wrap it around your waist if you like. In fact, I cut the waist straps off because I I would never never use it. I would get a day pack if I was going to go day packing. Uh, but anyways, up up at the top, what I do with it is I store uh, the stuff I, I would want to have most available to me quickly. Uh, I do take the day pack off and keep it in the tent um, and keep my backpack outside the tent. So that is something I use it for. Uh, so inside here, as you can see, I have my first aid kit. I have my toiletries bag, my spork, my headlamp, uh, little moist toilets, my compass whistle, 
Uh, and I would keep my maps in there as well. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Now, also on the inside of the main compartment, it'd be very difficult to show you, but you can probably see it online. There is, against the back wall, what, what is closest to your back, there's a pouch with elastic strap. It's, it's a, a strap. It's a pocket uh, where you can keep your water reservoir, your dromedary or your uh, camelback, you know, a, a bladder. You can keep it in there, and then the there's a tube that comes off of it, and most backpacks now come with... Uh, a little place where the tube can come out. See right here? There's a little hole where the tube can come out and will be draped down the side and it has a clip right here so you can put the drinking drinking tube clip to there and when you need it, you can it's got a little bite valve. You can drink it and then you put it out that down your uh, down the strap here and it's out of the way. So that's a really nice feature. When you're when you're testing a backpack and I do recommend it's one of the only pieces of gear that I will not purchase online without trying it on essentially because what you want to want to measure you want to make sure it has a good fit to your body everybody's body types a little bit different okay so what you're measuring is not you don't measure uh, your backpack based on how tall you are okay you don't because you're taller you don't need a bigger backpack necessarily you you measure your torso height so from your waistline to your basically the top of your shoulders okay um, you can measure that if you want or you go to an outfitter and they'll measure it for you and then you can kind of look online for that but I just recommend going to an outfitter trying it a couple different kinds on okay because you want to make sure that you have the right size for your back that the straps fit really nicely you want to make sure this breathes well I like I like this quite a bit this is the uh, Jan Sports little uh, direct connect with Brock foam which is really breathable um, so is the uh, shoulder straps they're they got a nice cushion they're firm but they're breathable and then you've got your your uh, waist, the hip hip belt, uh, all those are important because the suspension system that it uses, the straps, the shoulder, the back, all of that is very, very important because this is where you're going to be able to distribute the weight and you're going to be able to kind of get the sweat off of your back, all right? So I would just highly recommend going to an outfitter, trying out a couple different kinds of backpacks um, to see what you like the most. So uh, a lot of backpacks have different features. Um, uh, and, and I would just see what works best for you. I really like my pack. I love all the features on it. I really wouldn't change anything. But a couple major manufacturers, I'm not trying to advertise for anybody, but these are the ones that I've looked at, have tried on, really liked, and um, I've heard and read a lot of good reviews. So I kind of trust them. Uh, Deuter, D-E-U-T-E-R. Um, they have a nice, I think it's AC or ACT Light series. Uh, Gregory backpacks they tend to be a little heavier because they use thicker uh, material it's a uh, they measure uh, textiles especially like ripstop nylon or anything like that in denier so sometimes you'll see 420 denier or 200 denier that's the thickness the higher the number of the denier the thicker that the material is Gregory tends to use a little thicker material and has more features it's a lot it's a hardy bag so it's a little bit more but I mean they're nice um, Kelty makes really good gear that's light, um, durable, and affordable. Uh, Jansport I really like as well. Uh, Osprey makes really good gear. I mean, if it's being sold on REI or uh, Moose Jaw, it's probably good. But you're going to want to, like I said, so you're going to want to look at volume. You're going to want to look at total weight. But most importantly, probably, you're going to want to actually try it on, see how it feels on your back with your shoulders. Um, you know, and I'm sure an outfitter will be more than happy to help you out, um, making sure that it fits and everything. So basically, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, video responses, email me or post it uh, against this video. If there's anything you feel like I should go over, I'll definitely be happy to do that. Uh, but check out all the other videos in the series.